Hello everybody, Caleb here. Today I am going to be showing you how to build a video wall in MA3D and animate it with the media server that you might be using for show or that you might have at home for pre-visualization. What you're going to need for this is two PCs or one PC and a Mac, the Mac being your media server machine. I've configured once with a Mac and I ran into a couple snags along the way but I'm not too familiar with Macs, so you're going to need a network switch as well along with two Ethernet cables, but don't use TP-Link network switches because they drop out or they fail to connect completely. You're going to need MAVPU or Arceos installed on your media server machine. I know there's other programs that probably work. I'm pretty sure Mbox works. I know um, Resolum does not output CITP properly unless they have fixed that since. And then if you are if you are talking to Arceos or a third party program, you're going to need an MA node or some kind of GrandMA hardware to grant you parameters within GrandMA to generate a stream. Moving forward, you're going to have to configure your IP addresses properly. So I'm in Network and Sharing Center in Control Panel. Go to Change Adapter Settings. Go to your Ethernet card. Right click that to get to Properties, Internet Protocol Version 4, and use this IP range. MA approves of it and they say it runs into the least issues. And then just make sure that you do this on your media server machine. Um, but make sure when you are on a different machine that this number is different. Okay, that, and then we are going to patch in our media server. We're going to start with our chaos. Make sure that you have added your DMX node and make sure that you have started a session. So go to patch and fixture schedule, type in Arceos, and you do have to do this under one layer. Type in full, and that'll get you your two fixtures you want. So note that there's 1.1 and 1.0, just keep it consistent. Um, I use 1.1 just to stay updated, but anyway, you're going to have one master fixture, quantity 1, let's give that 101, and then add 10 layer 1.1s, make those the fixture ID 1, start address 17, remember that, exit out of that. And then, real quickly, we will build our video walls in MA3D, which is a box. That is sized to look like a video wall, not like that. Or that. There we go. And we will connect with that later. So let's move over to our media server, Chaos, and we have already configured this IP address. Launch it in fixture mode, and then if we're lucky, yep, our DMX is already lit up, which means we're already receiving a stream, which means we're already connected. But if you still need to configure and that light is not lit up, DMX interface, MANET, MANET2 if you're talking to Grandma2. Interface, make sure that's not your Wi Fi or anything else. And then master fixture, you're going to have master 1.1, layer fixture, layer full 1.1. Make sure that says active, start address 17, and we are going to hit OK. We are going to drop some light, some content in here.
And then we are going to give it a quick flash from our grand -Ame. Fixture one through five highlight. Next, 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 next. So we are good there. But if you notice our media server extension light right here is not lit. So to do that, we will return to the grand -Ame. And we have to go to CITP network configuration that might not be enabled. Add a present. Make our fixture layer, whatever layer we named, our chaos layer. And exit out. And then go to 3D. Go to materials after clicking on your video wall. Double click the gray box underneath texture, click the three dots, go to media server, and this should bring up your Archaeos output. From there, we can bring up GranMA and control our video wall. Through GranMA. Now while I'm on Archaos and before I leave it, um, I did discover through doing this that if you are, if you have your fixtures, like most lighting designers, if you have all of your lighting fixtures patched and already programmed and adding this 3D video element to it is probably done after you patch your lights what you're going to run into is that your lights running in visualizer not using your parameters are taking up the available parameters that you have depending on what hardware you have by the time you patch in your Archaos layer you are out of parameters and Granime since, it, since those parameters set it over the edge into what would be like 1020 to parameter 1320 or in 60 um, you, because you're out of parameter range the Archaos isn't going to see that. Moving forward to MA because we don't need parameters for that again it has to be underneath one layer and then go from library MA VPU we are again going to add one master layer, quantity one. Fixture ID will make that one on one again. Apply. And again, we are going to add 10 layers. And we do not need to pay attention to the addresses this time because it is a session. What we do need to do is add a camera. I'm not sure what that does, but by the time you find out, you will have one patched in your show, and so will I. So let's exit out of this. Return to our media server machine. The little errors caused by mispatching, but you can see that our media server extension is lit which is a critical key in 3D video walls. So exit out of Archaos and go to MAVPU, let it do whatever it wants to your computer. And even without an MAVPU dongle, this will work, which is a good thing because those are expensive. So we're already patched. It is sending over the show. We have to go to this box, F layer, hit MA, MAVPU, and from there we have our show. We're again going to give this a test flash, fixtures 1 through 6, and we can see that we have contact. We are all set up there. Let's return to Grand MA. And once we are in Grand MA,
go to CITP network configuration, add your MAVPU, set your fixture layer to MAVPU, exit out. This is already um, automatically added when you add it in your media server. And then all we have to do is go to MA3D, double click that again, and change this to layer one at the VPU. And note with MAVPU, you can have different layers, which means you can manage different outputs. I'm sure there's a way to do that in, I'm sure there's a way to do that in Arceos. Um, I haven't discovered how though. I'm sure it involves the video mapper, which is why I haven't delved into it. But I do plan on doing that shortly, so I will be following this video with a follow-up video on how to do just that. In addition to how to video map and make more complex video shapes and outputs in MA3D. So all we're going to do to separate these is go to texture again and say that this one is layer 2. Then from there, we go to Granime again, bring up fixture 1, bring up fixture 2, bring both of those to full and take highlight off, and then we can separate those two outputs. Now the downside to MAVPU is that all of your videos have to be in MPEG-4, which means you have to convert 90% of your content. That wraps up this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions or if I didn't cover anything clear enough, let me know. This was my first tutorial video. So coming up, I am going to be doing Archaos multiple outputs in addition to making video maps and complex shapes and cutting out certain portions of your video such as if you wanted to make this a door and not have anything behind that or if you wanted to do other shapes so thank you uh, subscribe if you want to see those videos and thank you for watching have a great day protect your retinas